You are welcome to today's class on geometry progression. You are welcome to today's class on geometric progression. In the last class, in the last class we looked at arithmetic progression when we were talking about how it increases at an addition level, but what have in the case whereby it is being increasing at multiplication level, then we say we are involving in what? Geometric progression, which is also can be first to an exponential sequence. For instance, if you have 2, 8, 32, 128, and so on. This is example of geometric progression because this is increasing at the rate of 4 because 2 times 4, 2 multiplied by 4 equals 8 times 4 equals 32 times 4 equals 128. So this shows that it is increasing at a multiplication level. So it is geometric progression. But if it is increasing at an addition level, for instance, when you have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and so on, then we say it is arithmetic progression. Let's in Geometric progression, there are things we have to know, such as our nth term, such as a, which is the first term, such as r, which is the common ratio. Common ratio. One of the things that differentiate geometric progression from my 20 progression is this r, common ratio. In arithmetic progression, we call it common difference, but in geometric progression, we call it common ratio. Let's take example one. Find the common ratio of Find the common ratio of 6 18, 54, 162. Find the common ratio of 6, 18, 54, and 162. Solution. The common ratio of these will give us R equals to, which R is the common ratio, equals to second term divided by first term. Which equals to, the second term here is 18, divided by 6, which equals to 18 all over 6, here 1, 6, here 3, which equals to what? 3. Now, that is 3. Example 2. In example 2, we have, find the common ratio of, Find the common ratio of 20, negative 10, 5, negative 2 and a half, and 1 number, 1 all over 2. Solution. I don't want to use the second term again. Let me use the fourth term here. We can now say ratio equals to fourth term. Divided by the term before the fourth term, which is the third term, divided by third term. R equals to the fourth term is negative two and a half divided by the fourth term five. Which R, the common ratio, equals to two times two, four. Two times two, four plus 1, 5, negative 5, all over 2, divided by 5. Now, divided by 5. What do we have here? We now say, 
r equals to negative 5 all over 2. This division will change to multiplication times, then this will come down 1 all over 5. 5 here 1, 5 here 1. r equals to negative 1 times 1, negative 1, all over 2 times 1, 2, which is 1 all over 2. We move to the end term of a GP. So the question on the end term of a GP, which says the end So the question on the end term of a GP, who says the formula we use in the end term of a GP is Tn equals to a r raised to power what n minus one. That is the formula we normally use. Where Tn is the what is the not is the end term. Tn equals to the end term. A is the first term. Y R is the what? Common ratio. R is the common ratio. Now let us take example three. Example three says that the first term of a GP is seven. Why the common ratio is three? Find the eleventh term. The first term. The first term of a GP is 7. Why the common ratio is 3? Find the 11 term. We now say T 11 equals to A plus bracket open. Sorry, that is the formula for AP. T n equals to A r raised to power n minus 1. Because n, therefore, n equals to the number of terms we have to look for, which is 11. A equals to the first term, which is 7, and R equals to 3, the common ratio. Now, we now say T11 equals to A, which is 7, in bracket, R, which is 3, raised to our N, which is 11, minus 1, which equals to 7 in bracket, 3 raised to power 10, because 11 minus 1, 10, which equals to... Okay, when we now say 7 in bracket 3 raised to power 10 equals to 7 in bracket 3 raised to power 10. We now say 3 raised to the power of 10. Pressing it in the calculator, you have 3 raised to power 10. We give you 59,049, which equals to, we now say 7 times 59,000. And 49. Now you multiply it by 7, which will give you 413, 343, That is our answer there. Yeah. We'll pick another example here. Yeah. Example 4. Example 4 says that the A term of a GP is 640. The A term of a GP is, is 640, full stop. If the first term is 5, if the first term is 5, Comma, find the common ratio and the ten term.
Now, this is that the A term of a GP is 640 if the first term is 5. Find the common, find the common ratio and the tenth term. You now say solution. Now, the first thing we have to look for is the common ratio. We say Tn equals to a r raised to power n minus 1. The eighth term of the eighth term of a GP is 640. That means n equals to 8. Last term equals to the last term is 640. Then if the first term is 5, a equals to 5, find the difference. So find the common ratio, which is how in AP we call it difference, but here we call it common ratio. Now, Tn equals to, we now say A is what? 5 in bracket R unknown, N, which is 8 minus 1, equals to the last step, 6 for T, which you can now say 5 R, 8 minus 1, 7, equals to 6 for T. Which equals to 5, how raised to power 7 equals to 640. Divide both sides by the figure with the alphabet. That will now give us how 7 equals to 640 divided by 5. How 7 equals to 640 divided by 5. Now, we give us R7 equals to 5 in 6, 1, remainder 1, 5 in 14, 2, remainder 4, 5 in 40, 8. That will be R7 equals to 128. So, R7 equals to 128. Then we are looking for ordinary R. To get your ordinary R, since this one is square here, when it comes here, it will be 7th root of 128. R equals to 7th root of 128, in which R equals to 7th of 128 will give us 2. That means, how many, how many times, or can you, or let me say, this is 2, which number can you times 7 times that will give you 128? That is 2. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. In seven times, it will give you 128. So our R equals to 2. We move further. If the first term is 5, find the common ratio. We have gotten the common ratio, which is R. And the tenth term now, T, then equals to A, R raised to power N minus 1. Where N equals to 10, A equals to 5, and R equals to 2. We can now say, which equals to A, which is what? 5. In bracket R, which is 2, bracket close, and which is 10 minus 1, which equals to 5, in bracket 2, 10 minus 1, 9, which equals to 5, in bracket 2 raised to power 9, we now say 2 raised to power 9, 5, 1, 2, which equals to 5 times 5, 1, 2, we give you 2, 5, 6, 0 as our answer. So, with this, we are through with example 4. We can now move on to example 5. Example 5 says that the third and the ninth term of a GP are 54 and 3. 39,366 respectively. Find the system, the sum of the source. Now, example 
Now, the question here says that, example 5, the third and the ninth terms of a GP are 54 and 39,266 respectively. Find the sixth term, B, sum of the fourth and seventh terms, and C, product of second and fifth term. Now, solution. The first thing is to look for the system. Are we given our A? A question mark. Our ah, question mark also two. We are only given the third term where they say T3 equals to the last term, which is 54, and also C9 equals to the last term, which is 39,366. With this, we have a noun. Let's solve for, let's first solve our A and common ratio. Our A and common ratio, if we could get our A and common ratio, then we have to proceed. Let's get our A and common ratio first. Assuming we take this to be our equation one, this will lead to our equation two. So T out, T3, sorry, of 54, which is T3 equals to 54, we now give us a our raised to the power n minus 1 equals to the 54 year. So we should now give us a out n is 3 minus 1 equals to 54. a out 3 minus 1, 2 equals to 54. Equation 1. Now, equation 2 will now give us t9 equals to 39,366, which will now give us a r raised to power n minus 1 equals to 39,366, which will now give us a r n is 9 minus 1 equals to 39,366, which will now give us a r 9 minus 1, 8, equals to 39,366, equation 2. Now, we will now solve equation 1 and 2 simultaneously. Equation 1 says a r raised to the power 2 equals to 54. Equation 1. Why equation 2 is a r raised to the power 2 equals to what? 39,366. Equation 2. The first thing we will now do now is to divide equation 1 by equation 2 by 1. Divide equation 2 by equation 1. When you divide equation 2 by equation 1, what do you have? We now say that, permit me to clean here. I don't want to clean the question. Hey. Now, if you want to divide this equation 1 by 2, Equation 2 by 1, we now have a r 8 divided by a r 2 equals to 39,366 divided by 54. Now, when we are dividing this, you now say a cancel a here, we now have r 8 minus 2 equals to 39,366 divided by 54. 39,000 366, 366 divided by 54, we give you 729. That will give you 729. So, r to power 8 minus 2, we give us 6, equals to 729. r to power 6 equals to 729. We are not looking for r to power 6. We are looking for ordinary r. So, what you are going to do here now, you transfer this case to power to this place, then it will become 6 root, which r equals to the sixth root of 729. Now, r equals to, what is the sixth root of 729? The sixth root of 729, which particular figure can you multiply? Six times, I will give you 729, that is 3. Which r equals to 3. That is the sixth root of 729. Then, we can now look for our what? A, what is our A? Now we have gotten what our R is, then we have to get what our A is. We now solve for A. Solve 
for A using equation 1. Our equation 1 says, our equation 1 is A out raised to power 2 equals to 54. This, this is our equation 1. So a r equals to a r is power two equals to fifty four. We now say a where r equals to t b raised to power two equals to fifty four. Now we can now say t raised to power two nine nine a equals to fifty four nine year one nine fifty four six a equals to six. Now that we have gotten our a, we can now proceed now to the question. Find the system. Now we want to look for the system in A. The sixth term. That will now give us T6 equals to A R raised to power N minus 1, which equals to A is 6 in bracket R is what? R is 3. So raised to power 6 minus 1. That is the sixth term, which equals to 6 in bracket 3. 6 minus 1, 5, which equals to 6 in bracket. 3 raised to power 5 will give us what? 3 raised to power 5, we are 243, which equals to 6 times 243, which equals to 6 times 243 will give us 1458 as our answer. So that is our answer there. So for A, then we move to B. B says that sum of the fourth and seventh term. C4 equals to A R is Y minus 1. Y T, this is sum, plus T7 equals to A R is Y M minus 1. Now this one will now give us A is what? 6. C is in bracket R, which is 3, and that will be 4 here minus 1, which equals to C is in bracket 3, 4 minus 1, 3, which equals to 6 bracket open 3 raised to power 3, 27. So, If that is 27, then we move ahead by saying 6 times 27, 27 multiplied by 6, we give us 162. 162, that means T4 equals to 162. Then what is T7 here? Yeah? We now say A R raised to power A minus 1, which equals to A is what? 6 in bracket 3 n is 7 minus 1, which equals to 6 in bracket 3, bracket with this minus, that will give us 6. Which should now give us, when you come here, you now have 6 in bracket 3 raised to power 6. 3 raised to power 6 will give us 729. 729. Which, finally, T7 equals to 6 times 729, 6 times 729, which T7 equals to what? Times 6, 4, 3, 7, 4. That is, T4 plus T7 equals to 1, 6, 2 plus 4, 3, 7, 4, which equals to plus 1, 6, 2, equals to... 4, 5, 3, 6. So our final answer is 4, 5, 3, 6. So we can move on to the next, to the last one, which is C. C is talking about the product of second term, second term times fifth term. The second term will still give us T2 equals to A R is power A minus 1, which equals to A is 6 and R is 3 raised to power 2 minus 1, which causes 6 in bracket, the 3, 
2 minus 1, 1, which equals to 6, in bracket 3 is power 1, 3, which equals to 6 times 3, 18. Then, the fifth term, we move to the fifth term, which will give us t5 equals to a r raised power n minus 1, which equals to a, which is 6, in bracket 3, 5 minus 1, which equals to 6, in bracket 3, 5 minus 1, 4, which equals to 6, in bracket 3 raised to power 4, 3 times 3, 9, 9 times 3, 27, 27, 90, 81, which equals to 6 times 81, 81 multiplied by 6 equals to 4, 8, 6. So, therefore, we can now come here and say that now, this is our C. We can now say T2 times T5. We now have to have our T2 times T5. What will our T2 times T5 give to us? So T2 times T5 equals to 18 times because 4 8 is, is product, which equals to 4 8 6 times 18. That will give us 8 7 4 8 as our final answer. Now we have solved it, or what they ask us to solve. We have gotten our answer here for our T5. We have gotten T2. Then we just have to multiply both of them answer. And this is what we have as our final answer. This is a question which I don't want to claim so that we can still make use of it. So, So this is it, this is the final answer, this, it continue here, it continue from here, it continue here. In the next class we will be looking at some of a GP, thank you.